Welcome back folks to another episode of Let's Play Atlia Sophie. And when we last left off, we were almost ready to make the Codex of Creation, but there's just one mission we need to do beforehand, and that's Fritz's mission, where we need to make him some puppeteer string. So if we just take a look at the recipe ideas. Yeah. So we at least get a bit of plot development in this episode. I am going to make the Codex of Creation. There's uh, a couple of recipes we can unlock as well. And I think I've got just enough to make the de deluxe backpack as well. Okay, what should I make? Let me just double check. Right, there it is. What material should I use? Okay, looks like we're gonna need to boost a lot of yellow. Alright. Is this really okay? Which cauldron is best? I should probably use the practice okay, cauldron then. for this one. Let's start. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is going great. Boost as many of the yellows as I can. Here. Be that one oh, there. Right. This is going well. Let's see if that works. Is this really okay? Ooh, a bit short. Twenty points. Hmm. Maybe once we've boosted our level a few more times, yeah. that might work. It what traits should I transfer? Okay, uh traits don't really matter for this one, but is this oh, uh, right. just pick it's two good. at random. Close to a level up. Okay, that's the looks deluxe backpack. Now about that thread for um for Fritz. There it is, puppeteer string. Uh, we need some silver web. I think we can buy that from Leon. So if I just head into town. Oh, there's also something we could do at the cafe as well. I think we better do that first, just in case Tess wanders off. Tess! Oh, Sophie! What is it? I wanted to ask about these vouchers. Ah, so you've started getting those vouchers too. Yes, I received it from Meister Horst. I see. Looks like it's my turn now. If you gather enough vouchers, you can trade them for various items that I'm managing. Better items require more vouchers. Work hard to get lots of them, okay? Okay, I understand. I'll do my best. Yep, we can now access Tessa's voucher shop. So, how that works is, you get uh, vouchers for completing requests from uh, Meister Horst and then take them to Tess whenever she's at the cafe and you can trade them for items. Simple as. Uh, there's also uh, a special event you can buy from Tess. I'll uh, point that out when it becomes relevant. Uh, group requests and certain other requests. Yeah, okay. Uh, Horst isn't here right now, so let's head back into the street. Leon.
Yeah, Leon certainly got a point there. It helps to expand your horizons. Maybe you should tell that to Corneria. Good morning. You look lively today. Now then, what are you looking for? Some silver web, if you, you please. Uh, I think I'll buy some monster feathers as well. So You're sure? there's an item we <laughs> can make use in those. Uh, was it two or? Well, I might as well just get bulk. Yeah, You're five sure. should be fine. <laughs> Okay, that should do for that. Uh, let's have a quick chat with Cornelius if she's got anything new to say. I have new items in stock. If you're interested, what are you going to buy? Uh, does Fairy Ball have the clay? Yes, it does. Right. I'll take those. Are you really okay with this? Thank you. Gotta say, Cornelia has the cutest voice. Uh, while we're here, I think we'll register some Sylvalia with her. Item for duplication? Uh, they've both got the same traits. This seems really amazing. You want to register this? Okay, I'll do my best to duplicate it. Please come again. Thank you, Corey. Right then, let's head back to the Atlia. Synthesis. There it is. What materials to use? Mm. Uh, I'll use the lower quality ones, seeing as uh, we can't pass traits or gain effects. Well, we can pass traits, but this is for a, a quest, so no big deal. Is this good? Which cauldron should I use? Okay, let's start. This material. Yeah, this looks good. How about this? Yeah, good. Is this good? All right, I'll finish it now. Good. Now, what traits to transfer? Is this okay? It's finished. Level up. All right, we're getting to another level. All right, let's just take these to Fritz, and that should unlock the codex. In the words of Dorkun, personal space for it. Gotta say, Fritz is really passionate about his work. Okay, that's now unlocked the codex. So, to the Atlia. Okay. Okay, I wrote it down. <laughs> I think I've gotten really used to writing things into you now, Plakta. It seems that way. You've been helping me quite a lot. <laughs> You've been helping me a lot, too, so I think we're even. <laughs> Sophie, I remembered something new. It's about alchemy in the past. The past? You mean 500 years ago? Yes. 500 years ago, various types of alchemy research was conducted across many lands. 
I established an atelier for similar purposes and engaged in research as well. Ah, I can understand that. You seem like someone who would shut herself into her atelier and work alone nonstop. No, the memory is faint, but I feel as though I wasn't alone. Oh, did Plata have a an assistant or a partner? Wait, really? You were doing your research with other people? Yes, although I can't remember the details. Regardless, at the very least, alchemy has been researched for over 500 years. Ah, huh. it sounds like alchemy has a really long history. By the way, Plakta, can I ask you something? You asked me before about what caused me to start using alchemy. If you remember your research in the past, maybe you can tell me what caused you to start using alchemy yourself. That's a secret. What? Since you say it's a secret, that means you actually remember, don't you? That's a secret. Why are you hiding it? Come on, you can tell me. Just say it. It's a secret. I'll be going now. Hey! Wait up, Wakta! Okay, got some new gathering fields. Alright then, What's Codex. Uh, I think it's in attack items. Yeah. Uh, we need some Zettel, and the alchemy level's pretty low. Um, I'm not sure as I want to risk that just yet. Maybe get it to at least five. Oh, mind you, if we use the uh, if we use Grandma's Cauldron, it won't fail. It'll just be lower quality. Might be able to get away with it in that case. Right, let's uh, synthesize some zettel. Time to finish. Done and done. What traits should I add? How's this? Yeah, this is all done. Which material right, here should goes. I choose? Well, the value, paper value on zettel is pretty damn high. Might be able to get the second tier, uh, the second tier effects. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe some web. Yeah, we'll keep the colours the same, I think. Um. Uh, we'll go for a pendulum and a well? ball for them. Now, which cauldron? Uh, yeah. No failure, okay. that's the one we try it! Okay, uh, let's start with the silver web, seeing as it's... That one's pretty big. Great. I'll try this here. Uh, uh, I need to try and boost the red. I'll try this here. I'll try this here. Hmm. Gonna lose in the pendulum if I put it there. I think this would be best here. All right, this looks great. Will this go well? Okay, we did manage to get uh, the stronger steel life effect for that. Defense down and speed down, they're going to be pretty useful as well. Um, uh, let me just redo a little something. Of amazing! Oh, this reaction is interesting. I've decided this material goes here. Oh, this reaction is interesting. It's going great! Will this go well? No, that's not helped. Alright. Going great! It's going great! Wow, this looks kind of amazing. I've decided this material goes here. Wow, this looks kind of amazing. It's going great! 
Will this go well? Yeah, I should finish it. It's done! Okay, there's the finished product anyway. What trait should I transfer? Uh, let's go with... That. Uh, Is this really okay? Oh, I've got Is this really house. okay? Because, uh... Yeah, fixed power will, uh... Strengthen the... The thing anyway, and then the trait enhance uh, will boost it just a little bit more. All right, it's done. Got a lot of XP for that one. <laughs> huh, Pacta? What's wrong? You don't seem very happy. That's not true. I'm perfectly normal. Hmm. No, you aren't happy at all. We've been living together. I would know. I see. Are you worried about something? It seems I can't hide it from you. Yes, I have a concern. I'd be willing to listen. Lately, I've been feeling a little scared about my own memories. I didn't realize this when I had no memories, but it seems I've lost quite a lot more than I originally believed. Memories about myself, my homeland, my friends, everything. I'd even forgotten about how much I'd forgotten. What if I was to lose my memories again for some reason? How much would I lose this time? I don't know if they'd ever come back again. And I may forget absolutely everything without a trace. I start to feel uneasy when I think about it. Octa. What if I wake up one morning and I've forgotten who you are? What if I can't remember anything at all? If that happened, I... I'm sorry. I lost control for a moment. Plakta, I've already decided. I really want to help you regain your memories. I'll get back all of your memories, so you won't have anything to worry about anymore. Sophie. I've never lost my memories, so I don't know how painful it truly is for you, but I can imagine. If I lost my memories of Grandma and Monica and Oscar, and you? Just thinking about not being able to remember the people important to me makes me really anxious. That's why I want to help you regain your memories. Even if you forgot again, I'd help you regain them again too. It might take a long time, but... Still, I'll definitely see it through. I might not be that dependable yet, but I want you to trust me. <laughs> huh? Did you just laugh? Oh, I guess I'm really not dependable enough. No, I just thought you're too soft-hearted. You're thinking so much for the sake of a book. There's a limit to being too nice. Sophie, I'll remember what you said. Even if I was to forget everything again, I'll remember those words. It's a promise, Sophie. Bakta. Yeah, it's a promise. I'll definitely help you regain all of your memories. Ah, that was kind of nice. <laughs> okay, uh, before we do anything more, hmm, what to make? Let's see if I can. Can I make the feather ornament now? Yes, I can. Okay. What materials to use? Uh, I'm only one level down, so using the uh, practice cauldron should be fine. Use that. Or, um, yeah, I'll go with the blue steel stone. And uh, maybe some silver web. Uh, I want to save that dawn fur for something like really important. So uh, yeah, I'll probably good? use the silver web Which there. Cauldron should I use? Uh -huh. Okay, let's start. Uh, there's not much blue, so let's. Try and boost the blue as much as we this? can. This isn't bad. Just put that oh, there. This. this is good. Yeah, this looks good. Is this good? Hmm. Do I want hard to notice, or do I want the draw attention? Hmm. 
choices, choices. Mm. Well, if the invasion, if we get the evasion up as well, that might uh, lead to the enemy missing attacks, so the draw attention might help. And then if we give that to our strongest party member, which at this point is Julio, that might work. Is this good? Alright, I'll finish it now. Good. Now, what traits to transfer? Uh, is this okay? Yep. Okay, okay. it's finished. Level up. And there's the feather of them. Right, um, equipment. Let's check corn area. Yeah, I forgot to give her a new weapon. <laughs> Alright, Julio. There's the feather ornament. Alright, uh, let's take another look at the recipes list. That's going to take me a while. I might have to do that sort of off off recording to find something with size plus that I can pass to Berg Medicine and then I'll show you it in a later video. In the meantime let's go for the ones that we can do. For example we can investigate the ancient kitchen. Uh, not too sure about that one. I'll have to look, might have to look that one up as well. And talk to a fortune teller. Okay. Well, we'll do that and that. So if I remember rightly, the fortune teller only appears in the street at night time. So I think we can go to the ancient kitchen first. By the time we get back it should be night time. Where are we going next? So three new gathering points. Uh, ancient. Oh yeah, it's in the Forgotten Nursery. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Ha <laughs> ha! We're in luck. Every little helps, as they say. Right then. Uh, the kitchen was this way, I believe. Okay, that's the refresh oil recipe unlocked. Okay. Uh, I just want to try something out. Okay, just managed to unlock the Puni missile there. Um, I think if I just look at the recipe. Yeah, it says that you need to get hit by a monster skill, an uh, idea from Puni Breath. That is a complete lie. Because um, you can actually get hit by Puni Press and it will still unlock the, uh, the recipe. Uh, I think Puni Breath does work as well, it's just that there's more options than what it's saying there. It's kind of misleading. But anyway, we've uh, got a twofer in that one, so we've got the Refresh Oil and the Puni Missile. So, let's see if we can go talk to that fortune teller. Or am I going to have to skip another day? In fact, I'm going to do some off-screen gathering until daytime. Destination. Oh, yes! Who could that 
happy. Hello, Sophie. Ah, that's the uh, dynamic duo. Mechlid, Atomina! Welcome! Do you need something? There's something we want to ask you about alchemy. Ask me? That's fine, but I don't know if I would be able to answer. It's fine if you don't know. Anyway, Sophie, do you know about the Cauldron of Knowledge? Uh, huh? The, the Cauldron of Knowledge? Yes. Apparently, it's an amazing device that allows those without any natural abilities to use alchemy. We've been researching alchemy, but we can't actually use it. But if we had the Cauldron of Knowledge, we might be able to use it ourselves. In fact, we might be able to do even more amazing things with it. Who knows? Like what? We might be able to take over the world? Hmm. That doesn't seem very nice. We should do something more fun. Then... we could make a castle out of candy. Haha! <laughs> now that sounds like it would be fun to see! Not a bad idea, Atomina. Oh, we got kind of off topic. Anyway, Sophie, that's why we're searching for this cauldron of knowledge. Do you know anything? <laughs> I don't really know. I feel like I've heard of it, or maybe I haven't. <sighs> we thought so. Besides, we only heard rumors about it, so we have no idea if it actually exists. That's right. It might be faster to earn enough money to buy a castle made of candy. I suppose so. Thanks for listening, Sophie. We'll see you again, Sophie. That was shocking. I didn't expect them to suddenly ask about the Cauldron of Knowledge. Hmm, that's kind of suspicious. Those two are a little strange, but they seem to know a lot about alchemy. I should ask them about it sometime. Okay. Okay, I am going to have to skip ahead in time. Sophie, are you home? Sir Julio, what is it? Okay, this I did not expect. There's something I wanted to try out in battle. Try out? That's right. Okay, you can use multi-support without consuming the chain link. Okay, so when three or more allies are in the same stance, That's in the same stance and fulfill the conditions it will activate. Oh, I see. Right, special attacks and special guards. Right, I get it now. So these are like uh, triggers for super moves, I suppose. thinking about this. What do you think? I think it's great. If we all work together, we'd be able to face even stronger monsters. That's good. Then maybe we should test it the next time we encounter monsters. Yes! Well, monsters that'll survive long enough for me to trigger it anyway. Uh, when that happens, I will uh, make sure I catch it for you. But anyway, to the street. Might as well grab a fistful of water while we're here. Uh, street. The fortune teller we're looking for should be here. Ooh, a bit stormy. There she is. And there's the crystal ball. Um, what kind of stuff should I make? Okay, I think crystal ball is in synthesis. 
yeah, three levels down, and that's not so bad. I've got enough to make it. Uh, Puni missile, what's that? Yeah, we'll go for this Which one first. Which material then. should I choose? Um, oh, electri we can pass electrified to it. That'll, that'll help. Um, oh yeah, let's go with inflict weak as well. Okay, compound of the beehive is going to be a bit better for that, I think. Mm. Will this go well? Wow, which cauldron? Oh, it's an awkward shape. Mm. Okay, I'll try it. I'm just going to have to do my best with this one. I've decided this material goes here. That's yeah, straight up and down. Okay. Um. This would be best here. Oh, this reaction is interesting. I think this would be best here. I feel like something great will happen. I feel that like something can boost great that will again. happen. Let's uh, I've decided keep this boosting those. Goes here. I'll try this blue. here. All right, this looks great. Okay. Uh, let's see how this works out then. Will this go well? Mm, no. I'll try this here. I'll try this here. Whoa! This looks kind of amazing. All oh, right. This looks great. It's going great. Going great. If only I had a ninety degree flip. I think this would be best here. Ah yes, much better. Will this go well? Alright, so I've got large missile and inflict sleep. Yeah, yeah that should be okay. Let me finish it quick. It's done. What trait should I transfer? Let's just go with electrified and inflict this weak. Really okay. All oh, right, it's done. No, oh, there's the puny missile. Okay, it looks like the plot's developing. Um, so we need to go to speak to Elise, Monica, and Pamela. See if they can help with uh, Plactor's um, memory block, as it were. It, it seems that she's not remembering anything new. Okay. Uh, where's Elise? Nah, she's in the usual spot on the edge of town. Monica seems to think, just keep writing recipes into her. Mm. Somehow I don't think that's going to work anymore. Is that really okay? I think you should eat more vegetables. Well, I actually think meat would be better for that. 
are you two talking about? Oh, Sophie, listen to this. Sir Julio was telling me that I'm too fat. Yeah, he's right. What are you talking about? I've lost a lot of weight since we first met Sir Julio. Can't you tell just by looking? Wait, you have? I didn't notice at all. What? See, that's why I told you. You need to lose weight, Oscar. Let's see. Maybe you should get a little more exercise. Even if you're right, you're way too skinny. You're gonna get seriously injured if you keep swinging around that huge sword with such a thin body. I don't know about that. Sophie, what do you think? Huh? Me? Um... Well, both of them do have a point, but, um... Julio's more in the right here, I feel. I don't think there's any problems as you are now. You've trained a lot, after all. That's the duty of a knight. Huh? You really think so? Oscar, were you hoping that Sir Julio would get fat so we wouldn't think you need to lose weight? Uh. <sighs> I knew it. Oscar, you need to lose weight regardless of Sir Julio. It's for your own good. I... I know... Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm in agreement with Sir Julio on that front. But uh while we're in the plaza, let's go to the church and talk to Pamela. Uh, wait a minute, what's Monica doing here? Good morning, Sophie. Not Monica, Marguerite. Good morning, Mrs. Marguerite. Are you here to pray? Yes. I need to open my store in the morning. That's why I come here so early. It must be hard work running a store. That's because the people in town rely on me so much. I'm thankful for that. Yeah, everyone loves your vegetables. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I should get back soon. I'll see you again, Sophie. Okay. Mrs. Marguerite works really hard. I need to work harder at my alchemy. Yes, yes you do. Alright, time to talk to Pamela. Okay, Pamela seems to think bonking someone on the head would work, but uh, I'm inclined to disagree. Alright, uh, let's try Elise. Wait, wrong house. Okay, Elisa suggested eating good food, hmm. which I kind of agree with. I mean, you should be eating good food anyway. Right, let's compile what we've learned. Oh, couldn't find any clues. 
since I can't hit Pacta. And it's not like she can drink tea either. I guess my only choice is to keep writing lots of recipes into her. Hello, Sophie. What a coincidence. Oh, Mechlet, Tamina. What's wrong? You seem a little down. It's just... Oh, right. These two know a lot of things. Maybe they can give me a clue. Actually, there's something I want to ask both of you. You have a question for us? That's unusual. We'll answer whatever we can. Um, one of my customers has lost their memories. They can't remember anything about the past. So I was wondering if there was any way to help. No memories? Let's see. There's one thing I can tell you. You need to get them as close to their original state as possible. Original state? Just think about it, Sophie. Let's say you forgot what book you were planning to read next. Would you remember when you're in the kitchen? Hmm... Not really. If anything, you'd remember when you're standing in front of the bookcase. That's likely because you were in front of the bookcase when you made plans to read it. The bookcase is closer to your original state than the kitchen in that case. Ah, oh, I see. Original state. Wait... Original... State? I got it! Eureka! Thank you, Mechlin. Atomina. I think I'll be able to do something thanks to you. See you later! <laughs> Sounds like we were able to help. Yes, that's good. Sophie's always helping us, so we need to help her once in a while. Lata! I think I know the reason why all your memories aren't coming back! Sophie, what's wrong? Why are you so out of breath? You really... need to turn back into a person! I'm sorry, Sophie. I don't understand your reasoning. You were human before, right? But you're a book now. There's probably a limit to how much you can remember while you're still a book. I think because you used to be human, there's some memories that won't come back unless you're human again. I see. You're saying there are memories that won't return unless I'm in my original state. Yes! That's it! Exactly! I told you before that it wouldn't be impossible, in theory. I know! That's why! But I also told you that the chances of accomplishing it were close to nil. Turning a book into a human is easy to talk about, but talking about it and doing it are completely different. Sophie, achieving this would require far more advanced alchemy than you seem to believe. Still, I need to do it. Sophie, I made a promise. I promised that I would help you regain your memories, Plakta. <sighs> it doesn't matter how difficult it is. I'll do it, to reclaim your memories. I understand. You're quite stubborn after all. I won't try to discourage you anymore. And it's true that I made a promise as well. That I would trust you. Thank you, Fwakta. Okay, now that that's decided, time to get started on Operation Humanize Fwakta. Sophie, could you do something about that name at least? Well, okay, it looks like we have another big event coming up. We're going to try and turn Plakta from a book into a person again. That sounds like it could be very interesting. Well, we've been going for a while, so I'm going to cut the video off here. And when we come back, we'll carry on with some growth recipes, maybe get on to the next plot related recipe and who knows we might even start taking steps to turn plot to human I'll see you then folks bye